Hey guys, so many people sacrifice their well-being in the form of leadership. So there's a lady who came into our academy uh, with cancer. She had a 10 centimeter cancer in her ovaries or womb and um, had herself opened up surgically. But the, by the time she got the surgery, with the work that we'd done, the 10 centimeter cancer was actually gone. And uh, the reason why I want to say this to you is leadership is so important um, in a certain way and we've got to learn how to do it health-wise first. And so a lot of people compromise, hey Catherine, um, compromise their health and well-being to lead well. And you've got to not be a slave to leadership. It's so important. And the most important thing that you've got to learn to be able to do as a leader is to be vulnerable. So, uh, you know, a lot of the time when I've worked with uh, big wigs, lots of big wigs in lots of, lots of different industries, they've come to see me pretty busted up. And the reason why is because their, their, their body is breaking down through the pressure that they've created either subconsciously or consciously by being a leader in their life, could be in relationships, could be in anything at all. So what I want to hand to you is that you've got to know how to lead, right? And what we do in our academy is we help you build the six areas, major areas in your life to help you lead them all well, not just one area, and get you right in the relationships, the, the, whole, the whole bit, relationships with everyone. And leadership is about building and formulating relationships. And the most important thing a leader should be able to do is get help, support, love and care. Now, uh, last night I was just teaching some content for year three and I cried in front of everybody. And I got so much love back. I don't have any fear of being a man crying in front of uh, the team, and I call the, the the group in the academy the team. I don't look at myself as the leader of the academy. I look at myself as a participant in the journey of helping everyone become the best that they can be. So I have to lead that by making sure I look after my well-being, look after how I think and feel, and look after um, the way in which I approach life so then the people who are starting to lead the way that they want to can actually have a model of behavior that is very very different a lot of the time um, we are told to just put up and shut up and the leaders just here to tell you what to do and I'm here as a team member and this is how I approach as a leader is be a team member and help you guide your life in the direction that's actually going to be purposeful and healthy in all areas so imagine what that would be like if you close your eyes right now and you imagined every area of your life starting to build up leadership qualities in it you're getting uh, treated well in all areas and i just had someone this week had a chat to her who was being bullied in the workplace now she's actually uh everyone is bow bowing to her simply because she's actually learnt to actually be treated well with her inner sanctum, inner psyche. And this is really, really important. So you might not know what's going on that's actually you're creating the battle with. And what we do is we help you understand the battle that you're creating on your inside so you can actually lead your life the way that you want to, be it personally, be it delivering stuff for people, whatever it is that you want to lead. It all comes down to you and how you do it. And uh, someone asked me this morning, you know, what sort of, someone said, someone was talking about you that you have this completely different format of leading and I said yeah I do it's it's very very different it's vulnerable based leadership getting you responsible getting you really clear getting you to see where your pitfalls are and communicating your weaknesses to the world and I think this is so essential we'll relearn re-educate and regrow ourselves into a different way of approaching otherwise this planet is going to stay the same and I really believe that it is up to us. I want good, gorgeous human beings who have the salt of the earth in their heart that really want to make a difference, stand up and lead this planet because the way it's being led right now is not working. Have an awesome day.